Hey everyone, welcome back to the Respiratory Therapy Resource Center. I appreciate you clicking on my video today. So if you could do me a favor and just subscribe to my channel, I would greatly appreciate it so I can continue making videos just like this one for your continued enjoyment. Have a great day. Bye. Hey everyone. So today's video is going to be talking about the differences between the matrix schedule and the self-scheduling system. But before we get into that, if you haven't had a chance, please take a minute to check out my website, respiratorytherapyrc.com. I have some other educational materials there and ebooks that you may like. So let's begin with the matrix. So what is a matrix schedule? So a matrix schedule is a repetitive schedule that repeats itself all year long. So you know your schedule in advance, you know what days you're going to work. Every other week you work Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then the following week you're going to work Tuesday, Wednesday, Saturday. And this is just an example, right? So matrix schedules are repetitive schedules. Here's another example of a self schedule schedule, right? So this is nice because you can request which days you want to work. So you can kind of move days around and have a nice eight day stretch off without using PTO. So the pros and cons of a matrix schedule and my first job was a matrix schedule, right? So these are pros and cons that I observed while I was working there. So the pros would be, yeah, it's nice. It's repetitive. You know your schedule in advance. It's a consistent schedule, kind of puts you in a routine. You're able to make doctor's appointments in advance without having to check your schedule because you already know. The pros and cons could be you have the same coworkers. Maybe you get along with all of your coworkers. Maybe you don't. That's why it can be a pro or a con. Some cons include draining PTO. You can't just schedule those eight days off for your trip. You have to use PTO. There's weekend requirements. For night shift in particular, the matrix schedule may be more of a struggle if you only have two or three days off in between your next shift, right? So I have a friend who was on a matrix schedule, but she had five days off every other week. So it was much more doable for her. Long vacation is a challenge. You have less choice and control, especially when other people are setting dates for their weddings and you may have to find switches or definitely use your PTO. Self-schedule pros and cons. My current job, I have a self-schedule scheduling system and the pros would be you have different coworkers or same coworkers, right? So I put different coworkers in the pros because I'm a social butterfly and I like talking to different people, right? So all the time, I may have a stretch of three days with the same coworkers. I may have a stretch of three shifts with different coworkers and it works for me. I'm a social butterfly. That's what I like, right? So your doctor's appointments, you can still schedule. Your schedule will probably come out maybe two weeks to a month in advance, right? Night shift, you can self-schedule those days. You can take your long eight days off. You can save your PTO. You can request your own schedule. So pros or cons could be moving between units, right? So some people may want to stay in one unit, but honestly, I feel like if you're more versatile and you can work in multiple units, you're even more likely to get the schedule that you want, right? Because you can work in multiple units. So other cons includes it's not consistent, but honestly, it doesn't bother me, not, not one bit. You may not get your requests and it depends on your staffing. It depends on your facility. At my facility, I get almost all of my requests, right? So there's always going to be weekend requirements in the self schedule or the matrix schedule. That is the nature of healthcare. We'll give you eight days off, but you're going to have to work Christmas, but you can have Thanksgiving off, right? So it could be like a rotating schedule like that. Just a few pros and cons of each. Questions to ask your manager when you're applying for a job. How do switches work? Am I able to switch with another coworker if I don't get the re requests that I made? How likely will it be for me to get my requests approved? How do call-ins work? Do I have to make it up? Will I be assigned a home unit or will I be able to be trained in multiple areas? What are the weekend and holiday requirements? Will there be overtime opportunities? For overtime, those opportunities are most likely going to be in the winter following the respiratory viral season of flu, RSV, rhinovirus, all of those things that affect patients that come into the hospital. 
Who is in charge of the schedule? You want to know these people or this person. You want to be friends with this person. You want your schedule to be heard. You want your request to be taken seriously. And you want to have a good rapport with this scheduling person, right? Will you be able to move to other units, right? So that's another question you want to ask your manager. So these are just a few off the top of my head questions that you can talk to your manager about when you're applying for a new job, when you're looking into the schedule, and how all of those things work at that particular facility. All right, thanks for watching. I appreciate y'all taking the time to watch this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something new. And if you don't mind taking a minute to subscribe to my YouTube channel, I would greatly appreciate it. Also, don't forget to check out respiratorytherapyrc.com. I have some eBooks available you guys might like. So check it out. Have a great day. Bye.